Hey, what's happening? All right, let's go live. We'll go live on Facebook for a minute. I've got a video that I'd like to talk about here. Yeah, if you're a semi-truck driver or know somebody that needs a gig, uh, get a pen and paper in about like 30 seconds here, okay? I'm just waiting to get my microphone up and all my screens on. How you guys doing? You guys doing good? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? All right, let me get my screen. Hey, well, let's see. It's almost noon when I'm recording this or, you know, going live, chit-chatting to everybody. I'm on Facebook right now as well. And if you're watching this video on my YouTube channels or whatnot, uh, Corey Draper here. What's happening? Yeah, like I said, it's just in the middle of the day. Um, I'm heading to Vegas right now. And I'll be down in good old sunny California, which is kind of on fire too, I heard. Uh, anyway, I hope everyone uh, is okay down there. But uh, nonetheless, all right, now listen. If you're a current truck driver, and I mean a semi-truck, class A, all right, C, D, L, all right, you got your commercial driver's license. It's valid, okay? And you got to have a class A with our company, okay? And if you're already a truck driver, you guys are going to know everything I'm talking about right now. Um, let's just talk about what we have to offer, okay? And get a pen and paper or just rewatch this video. I'm going to go ahead and share a screen with some information on it. You know, you can always pause and write down. But the main thing is, is my email address is Corey at CoreyDraper.com. All right. So C-O-R-Y at C-O-R-Y D-R-A-P-E-R.com. Corey at CoreyDraper.com. That's how you're going to get a hold of me because I want to chit chat with you before we, you know, talk about a gig and some other things with a company that we're building here right in Salt Lake City. Okay. Now, if you have a great driving record, all right, we're not talking DUIs, reckless speeding and everything else. Now, if you have a speeding ticket, understand some people get a ticket by texting when they're driving. Uh, you know, there, there's some things that you get uh, when you drive a lot, but don't let it scare you. Go ahead and still get a hold of me uh, and, and be honest on your driving record. Be, because before we hire you, you know, we have to run your, your driving record. You know, and then the insurance company does too. So, yeah, you don't have to bull crap on it. You know, just be honest. You know, let me know about your driving record, where you've been, what you've done. Uh, basically, what we do, we have some badass semi trucks. We run 579 Peterbilts, mostly new. Uh, I think the oldest one we have is like a 2018, 2019. I drive a 2020 or 2000, 2020. <laughs> Isn't it weird? How, I just can't believe how long or how long I've been alive. I can't believe it's 2020 almost. That freaks me out still. Anyway, we, we like, uh, we like Peterbilt's, you know, they're great trucks. Uh, we run automatic transmissions. They're easy to drive. They're just relaxing as hell and they get great fuel mileage. All right. So if you think you could, uh, see yourself in a badass Peterbilt, uh, we run really great trailers too. We run utility. Uh, we run great Dane dry. We have dry, dry loads too. You know, uh, we might haul around, uh, toilet paper for all we know, who knows, but there's dry. And then of course there's reefer, all right? We have some badass Great Danes, chill those babies up and you know, we can do everything from ice cream to yogurt to uh, who knows what. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff to haul all over the place. Uh, if you like the West Coast, all right, sounds good. We're based in Utah, all right, right in Salt Lake City. We're kind of by Sap Brothers, which is like the heart of trucking. You know, you guys, you guys know Salt Lake City if you live here. And if you don't, if you live in Idaho or maybe a little bit uh, out of town, that's okay. You know, Provo, maybe farther down south. Uh, don't be afraid to get a hold of me. Corey at CoreyDraper.com. Like I said, I've got my information below this video right here and on my YouTube channels and whatnot because we just want to chit chat a little bit, you know, get to know you because we're building like a team. We're not looking for like just some grumpy driver that's pissed off and he's just by himself all the time and he knows everything. And, uh, you know, uh, just don't be that way. You know what, if you like to have fun when you drive and chit chat on the phone a little bit and uh, maybe do some favors now and then uh, for another driver or, or just see how someone else is doing, uh, that's who I want to talk to. But we look at our company that we're building here in Salt Lake City almost like a football team, okay? Now, if you are kind of a private person and you just like to drive and be by yourself, I get it, uh, you know, but we're looking for somebody that, that, that really is a, a good person that is reliable first, all right? Safe, of course, you gotta know your shit, all right? 
We don't want hot rods. Now our trucks go 75 miles an hour. You know, that's fast. Most trucking companies, they let you go 62, 68, sometimes maybe 72. Um, we know in the middle of nowhere, you need to get places. In Salt Lake, uh, you know, in Utah, you know, the speed limit's almost, you know, it's 80 miles an hour in almost all locations for semis. When you get into Nevada, Texas, I've, I've been all over the country, you know, but when the speed limit's 75, it's nice if you can go 75 miles an hour and just get, get you there on time and whatnot. So we talk pay. And then a trucker's always like, well, how fast can we go? You know, uh, we're not looking for hot rodders and your past driving record is going to you know, be obvious on if you have a lead foot or not. Uh, we all drive fast. We all drive slow. We all drive certain ways. Uh, you know, we, we, we all have our mannerisms, but when you drive, it's all about safety. And I don't need to tell you guys about this. If you've already drove a truck or you're currently driving one, you, you guys know exactly uh, what you need to do to be a safe driver that kicks ass. And in return, we're gonna pay you a lot of money, all right? We're gonna start you at 55 cents and we'll bump you up to 60 cents a mile. Uh, if you're just reliable and you get along and you wanna be a part of the team, all right? Now we have OTR, that's all, all over the road. I think you guys know what OTR is. And local too, we're looking for one or two local drivers that just will be home every night. We'll start you out at 20 bucks an hour. We'll put you in a Peterbilt. And you're going to go like maybe up to Ogden at Associated. Maybe you'll go around Salt Lake City to Nicholas and some other places and move some trailers. Uh, maybe you'll load a trailer for me so I can go to Vegas because I'm heading to Las Vegas in, a, in about, you know, about, about an hour. So if you're interested in a local job and you, you got to live in Salt Lake or Ogden or Provo, you know, because a local job means you're going to be going to work and going home every night. All right. So obviously you can't live like in Colorado or Idaho and go back and forth every day like you can on an OTR over the road uh, truck job. But so two different uh, categories of driver, local 20 bucks an hour. Obviously you got to have a current medical card. You got to have a current CDL class A license. You got to pass a P test. You guys know what you got to do. You got to pee in a little thing. It's got to be verified that you're not some crazy guy amped up on who knows what. And we're talking girls too, because we have some badass girls that drive with us. And sometimes girls are better driver than us crazy guys. So if you're a girl out there and you can drive a semi truck, don't be shy. Uh, you know, get a, get a hold of us. Uh, we love male and female drivers, of course. So if you're a local driver, uh, basically go down to Provo, maybe go up to Ogden, maybe move some trailers around, uh, help uh, get my trailer loaded so I can just hit the road and get the hell out of Dodge, you know, because when it comes to driving, waiting is the thing that really is the end all be all. It, it really, you know, screws up a lot of stuff. So Local driver, we need one to two. <clears throat> I'm gonna have you call uh, my good buddy, Brian. But first I wanna talk to you. I wanna make sure that your head's on straight. You know, you're in a good mood. You're not cra you know, crabby and in a bad mood. And you're, you're running from another job because you're in trouble all the time and you're bitching and moaning and all that. I, we're not looking for that. We want safe drivers and we want some pretty darn nice, just nice people because we're forming a team here, not like some just job and then you're never gonna meet us and hang out with us and stuff, okay? So uh, if you think, uh, you know, you'd like a, a local job helping us out, <clears throat> and like I said, 20 bucks an hour to start, all right? Earn more, but first we gotta start you somewhere. All right, so we'll give you 20 bucks an hour. Obviously you could work uh, eight to 10 hours a day. You guys figure it out. When you work by the hour, you guys know what you're gonna make, you know, 20 bucks times so many hours. And if that's uh, something that you're, that you're cool with, uh, it's nice because if you have like a family, girlfriend, kids, a husband, uh, it, sometimes it's just good to be home. And I recommend a local driving job like that, especially when you have a young family, okay? So uh, 20 bucks an hour, CDL, Class A, because we're talking full-blown uh, Peterbilt badass trucks, and you're going to be moving around 53-foot trailers, okay? Current medical, all right? You're going to have to pee. You're going to have to pee in a tube. And uh, they send it off for a couple of days and then they say, yes, that person uh, can qualify to drive because you guys know how strict it is now uh, to be a driver. And that's good. It means it's safer on the road and everything else. So if you want to be a local driver, Corey at CoreyDraper.com, C-O-R-Y at C-O-R-Y-D-R-A-P-E-R.com. And like I said, below my Facebook feed, you're going to see my email address. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on my YouTube channels. And I'll go ahead and switch my screen in just a second here and show you some stuff as well. So. All right, now let's just talk OTR, on the road, all right? If you guys uh, are living in Salt Lake City or somewhere close, you know, if you wanna 
you know, kind of stick on, you know, you know, 11 to 13 Western states. We all know what those are. You know, if you live in Salt Lake City, you could go to Colorado, you could go down to New Mexico, maybe over to Texas, which I think is awesome. Maybe go down to California a little bit, go to Arizona, maybe swing up to Idaho, you know, whatever. But you guys know where the Western states are. Uh, the other day, I just went straight across the 80. I went to Reno, then I went by Lake Tahoe, down into Sacramento, loaded in California, which is still 91 degrees, which is hot. <laughs> then I swung down south, went by Vegas, went to Fillmore, dropped off a trailer, and then I picked up an empty and brought it back. Now, our, con our company, what's nice right now, I'm going to, I'm picking up a trailer right now, which is notorious, that takes a long time to load. The great thing about our company is we have extra trailers. We drop them off. The company that might be slow loads them, and then they go, hey, you know what? Come pick up your trailer. It's ready to go. We also have GPS on the trailer so that our dispatch, we have two badass dispatch guys, Jeff and Brian, uh, they can actually just look, and we can see when the trailer's being moved to a door and it's put uh, in a side location where we can go pick it up. So we know pretty much instantly when that trailer is being loaded and when it's ready to pick up. So how nice is that if you're an OTR driver, knowing that you can just go drop a trailer, go pick one up and get the hell out of there, all right? We like to do that. Um, occasionally, obviously, you're gonna have to load now and then. Uh, most of our customers right now that we have, uh, they know that, you know, uh, if you, you know, time is money, it always is in trucking, you guys know this. Uh, but anyway, uh, we do our best to get you loaded and get the hell out of there as fast as possible, okay? so. OTR, maybe you want to just get 3,000 miles a week and take a few days off. Maybe you just want to be on the road for a week, whatever miles that are, and take a few days off. Maybe you want to drive for a couple of weeks and take four days off. When you truck drive, there's a lot of freedom, and I love it because I listen to music and I listen to educational courses. Man, I, when I drive, it's like therapy. I really like it. It's like road trips. And these semis are so massive, but you know, we've got uh, you know, double bunks. No, we're talking microwaves. I've got an inverter. I've got home stereo, uh, flat screens. I, I have everything in my truck. So, man, I really like to uh, relax and have a good time when I'm out on the road. So, if you're looking for a job and driving, if you're probably in the vicinity of Salt Lake City, this is probably for you. All right. Because our yard, like I said, is just by Sap Brothers. And we use EFS cards. So, if you want to go to Love's, you want to go to TA, you want to go to Pilot. Everybody has their favorite places to fuel up, rest, shower, their favorite cafes. Uh, there might be a somebody, you know, that has the best omelet. Uh, you guys have your favorite areas where you want to go, but we use an EFS card for fuel, so it's up to you. I like Loves uh, because they have a lot of cool cars and trucks and little models I can buy, like in back of my head here. I probably bought these <laughs> at Loves. So anyway. Uh, we use EFS, all right? We have health insurance, we'll pay half of it. How's that, okay? So, um, you know, if your premium is like 150 bucks a month, you know, you'll have to come up with 75 of it. Uh, we have 401k, that's kind of cool, isn't it? All right, um, after you prove yourself reliable and you're great, we have, a, you know, there's a rider policy. If you wanna bring a buddy with you, a wife or a husband, uh, it's all good, uh, you know? Uh, we know that sometimes it's fun to have somebody on the road with you and you can see the sights and, Go visit some places and everything else. Okay, so Corey at CoreyDraper.com. I want to get, I want you to get a hold of me first, and then I'll have you uh, talk to Brian and and we'll see if there's a, a job here for you. All right, we're looking for three OTR and up to one to two local drivers right now. All right, our company's not going anywhere. We have badass ownership. We have mostly brand new trucks. I think we have ten to twelve right now, and I think we got like fifteen trailers. And we want to we want to double up. We want to times that by two. And that's where I come in, man. I got my time sign on. Uh, I love truck driving and stuff. I love radio. I got a lot of other things that I do. Uh, but over the winter time, I like to get out and see the sun and go down to Vegas a lot and, and visit uh, people all over the country. So we'll start you at fifty five cents a mile. This is not owner owner operator. This is not you have to lease something. And you have to pay your own repairs and your own fuel and all that stuff. This is 55 cents a mile. And if you guys just kick ass and you're reliable, we'll bump you up to 60. You know, uh, that's a lot. Uh, I know trucking very well in Salt Lake City from Swift to CR England to Prime to Pride. To, man, there's a lot of great companies. But you know what? We start our drivers with high pay because if you make more money, I know you're not going to jump around. You're not going to quit all the time and get pissed off and go try to find a bigger, better deal. 
Because if you are at the bigger, better deal, you tend to be in a better mood and you work harder. And we're looking for friendship too. Like I said, we're looking for a football team. You know, if, if something happens, man, we back each other up. We, we make sure that we're all right. Uh, maybe we have to do a favor now and then for each other. Or sometimes it's just fun to talk on the phone. If you're new and you need advice on how to fill something out or where do I go for this or who do I talk to for that? All right, so uh, I'm hitting the road right now. You're gonna see me doing a lot more video, uh, especially on my Facebook and YouTube channels. Um, I love teaching, driving, it's a lot of fun. It's my therapy. But right now, I just wanted to do a quick video before I hit the road myself today and offer an opportunity if you have a CDL class A current medical card couple years experience all right we need to have a couple years of experience under your belt we know that somebody has to start somewhere but right now with our equipment being somewhat new and we need reliability like crazy you know driving sometimes is the easiest part it's being on time and planning things out and making sure that your head's on straight so that if you have to be there at midnight, you're there at midnight. If someone says to pick up at five in the afternoon, you got to be there early and check in and be, man, I'm ready to go. Because a lot of the time, our, our loads, our trailers are loaded. If it says load by noon, they might be ready by eight in the morning. You know, if you guys want to go pick them up, then go ahead. Nothing's better than being on time or super early um, in this biz. So anyway, CDL license, you guys know it current medical. We need a couple of years or more driving experience. Insurance companies are going to uh, verify your driving record. All right. So just be brutally honest, whatever you have or whatever you've done in the past, just let me know. I'm easy going guy. Uh, everybody has a past and everybody has a, a, a pretty cool future if you put your head on straight. Okay. So we'll start you out at 55 cents a mile and we'll bump you up if, you, if you're reliable and everything goes real nice. Um, and uh, you guys know the deal on that. You know, you always get rewarded if you kick ass, especially at this company, okay? Uh, the health benefits are there, the 401k. And like I said, uh, you can have a driver come along if you'd like. Uh, but, you know, we, we want you to kind of go through a little trial period first to make sure you're on time and you got, you know, just be by yourself a little bit and just go through the paperwork and, and how the system is. Our company is streamlined. It's extremely easy. If you got a cell phone, you've got your GPS, there's always someone a phone call away or a text away. <clears throat> and every load that you'll be doing, we've probably already done 5 million times. So don't be shy. You know, if you, if you do start with us, don't worry about it, man. You, you can't ever ask too many questions when you start a new uh, job in anything you do in life. Okay. So anyway, great to see everybody. All right. I'm in my trucking mode today. I got my smart glasses on. Don't I look like almost 1% smarter? I'm still not getting a haircut, but sometimes I look smarter when I have my anti-glare glasses on. So, all right. Just to recap, okay, you need to get a hold of me if you're interested in a local job in Salt Lake City. We'll start you at 20 bucks an hour. Got to have some experience. It's a Peterbilt semi trucks that we have, 53 foot um, trailers just moving around. You could go up to Ogden. You maybe have to go up to Idaho for a while and come back, but no matter what, whatever you do, you're just moving stuff around or picking stuff up and you'll always be home every night. All right, so that's kind of cool. 20 bucks an hour, let's start you off at that. And we need one to two drivers right now that are local, <clears throat> Salt Lake City based. We're looking up to two to three OTR drivers right now on the road, okay? Right now we're doing a lot of West Coast stuff and uh, we do the Midwest and whatnot. But let us know what you've been doing and what you're comfortable with, especially before we hire you. Because if you do something that you specialize in, you know, maybe that's your comfy slippers. You know, sometimes it's fun to kind of do what you like to do. You know, how would that be? <clears throat> You tend to be a little more happier, don't you? So anyway, Corey at CoreyDraper.com. If you're watching this video, just look below it on my Facebook. I think I have my email address there a few times. And if you're on my uh, YouTube channel watching, go ahead and please watch that as well. So anyway, have a great day. You guys will see me a thousand more times chit-chatting away, either in my studio here in Salt Lake City or on the road. So all right, take care and get a hold of us. Corey at CoreyDraper.com. All right, take it easy, guys. See you soon.